Hey guys, it's your boy. We are back with more Mall Future Wide content, and today finally Sharon Rogers is here, and we will be doing a comparison between this new Poseidon's armor Sharon Rogers versus the latest or the previous new light series armor uniform. Because of course, a lot of people have been thinking or might be thinking if it is worth switching from this uniform to the new uniform. And honestly, I love the new uniform because it is much faster compared to this one. If you have played Super uh, Sharon Rogers with this uniform, she was much slower in terms of movement speed. Skills were slower, and everything would was basically slower. And she did not have the second skill sort of, which is the V pad skill. This skill helps you survive a lot. And Honestly, her damage I think is better. As well as I do feel that specifically on Mephisto World Boss Legend and maybe Ultron and Jean as well, she will have much better survivability with this skill. I tried her only once and I loved her in Mephisto. So let me do a comparison. Let's see the build and everything, and let's just go dive right into the World Boss Legend to see the difference. So. This uniform is mythicked out. We have uh, uh, this is how the stats looks like on this uniform. We still only have three HP Odin's blessings. You have to go HP because third skill gives you accumulation based on the HP. It is better to go for HP, so go for HP Odin's blessings. Then maybe if you want, you can go for uh, attack Odin's blessings, of course. Movement speed, all skills are level six. Type enhancement rank five. ISO eight overdrive stage twelve. We have the three star artifact for this girl with critical damage as well as these some buffs. I do have a four star, but I'm not sure if I should put it. Maybe I will put it later on. I have a mighty CDP of energy, six percent beat down, which I have had on Sharon Rogers for a million years now. <laughs> it has been a long time, and we have a mythic uniform with HP and all attack ruled. Now this uniform, you know the uniform options. The uniform options, I only have two of them right now. Kate Bishop, which is rolled for HP, and the Spiderman, which is rolled for movement speed. Sadly, I do not have any other uniform options. Maybe I will purchase this moon, uh, this blue dragon uniform for some extra attack. Maybe let's see about that. This is how the stats looks like. Around the same as that uniform. The only difference is the movement speed is slightly higher. Apart from that, all the build and everything is exactly the same. And the uniform is legendary. Now let me show you my peers. So I I got 22% peers on my uh, uh, account, and she is pretty nice. So let me just show you how to play this character. Okay, uh, she is around the same. You know, rotation is kind of same like the other uniform, but it is much faster compared to the other uniform. So let me just show you what's going on. So first of all, the second skill. Is honestly is kind of like a waste. Okay, you don't have to. It's basically an instant cancel skill just to charge up your tier tier four skill or tier three skill. That's all. Second skill is awesome. It's a partial eye frame, not really partial eye frame, right here in the end. But you have to like right. She charges. You can basically control her. So that's gonna be really useful in uh, stalling in World Boss Legend. Third skill has some issues with CDP of energy now. Used uh, before, she used to stay at one place. Now she literally just charges straight ahead. You will do much more damage. I feel like she has become a rage character for World Boss, uh, rage character for Alliance Battle, uh, and I think that she might have a place in Human Female ABL. But we will see about that. So you have to basically instant cancel this and get this uh, uh, accumulation. You want that. Apart from that, fourth skill does again partial eye frame does really insane damage. The damage is literally insane. I love this, and the fifth skill is cancelable right here. And look at the fifth skill. Look at this. <laughs> What is this? Buster freaking lens like a rocket uh, coming down from the above. I love this skill. I love this skill. This is very easy cancel. Actually, almost instant. It's just not so. And tier three skill is around the same. So let me just take a uh, like, look at that. Man, I love this. I love the bubble. I love the bubble. Okay, so what you need to do is basically we'll go uh, two, three, five, one, four. Okay, finish the rotation. Then you can go one, two if you want to, and of course you can use the second skill to stall. Then you can basically go if you have about sixty percent on your tier three, you can go three, four, five into the tier three skill. Okay, it's it's really easy. And it's very proc friendly. Uh, only thing that you have to worry about is on Null World Boss Legend. Sometimes when you get hit and everything, you have to try to get this accumulation. Again, the more HP you have, the more accumulation you have. Anyways, enough talk. Let's just dive right into the content and let's see the comparison. 
Okay, so this is with the light serious armor now. I know this uniform has been in the game for quite some time. Honestly, not that long, but still it has been one of the best in the game. And it is actually really good uniform as well. So we got hit and everything. And you can see the damage is also amazing with this uniform. Pretty nice. The only thing that I don't like, as you can see, is that this uniform is slow. Okay. That is, I think, the only downside of this uniform, that this uniform is kind of slow. We got the charge up full. Let's see the damage. And she's doing pretty nice. Not bad. Uh, I have the video, by the way, at uh, uh, 1.4 times or 1.3 times the speed normal. That's why you might feel that she is uh, much faster. She's not this fast with this uniform. Uh, but this is how it is. Okay. So I'm going to go with the tier 3 skill. And you can see the HP. The HP is very low. I could basically die here. So that is that has always been an issue with Sharon Rogers because she could basically die if you don't uh, if you're not uh, uh, you know if you're not wary of the HP and everything and I have to use the tier three skill to get it down. So three thirty eight, we got it down to this bar. Okay. Now you can still again you can still uh, try different things out if you really want to. With a beatdown, it kind of gets a bit weird, but uh, there are different ways of playing this uniform. Honestly, this uniform also is really good. But again, uh, the HP you can see is not going up. I have to let the fifth skill run for like the until the end if you if I really want to get the HP. So that's actually how it goes. But anyways, let's just try and see how we can do. So we can get to the 22nd bar at 254, just under three minutes, which is still not bad. It's 59. We have some really good support though. We have Wave and White Fox, which works insanely good for this girl. And and we do, look at that. Like she does insane damage when, when you actually can get hit properly. So let's just see. And there we go. We go into the tier three skill. We got from 18th bar to the 14th bar basically. So let's see some extra damage. And sadly, we were not able to get him to the 13th bar now. So this is kind of like the issue with this uh, uniform as well. Now I do think I should go for this tier three skill. And with the tier three skill, we are able to get to the 10th bar. So we only did like four bars of damage or three and a half bars of damage. I don't know why. I'm just trying to save the tier three skill for the end because I think that is going to be a game changer for Sharon Rogers. And I do feel that if you save the tier three skill until the end, it can help you out clearing that in the end, you know, so that can be helpful. So I need to do one more rotation, one full rotation with getting hit. If I really want to get him down to that, I got to move. I got to move. And I think I, yeah, I had to switch. I have to switch. So this is an issue. Okay. This is an issue with Sharon Rogers with this uniform. You, you know, the damage is good, but she's just so slow that you basically have to, you know, rely on getting hit. And of course you have to rely on null making certain moves. If you really want to do it, we have over a minute left. So it should be an easy clear, but let's just see how much damage can we do with this last tier three skill. And we should be able to get it down soon. So we have him here. We go three, five, into the tier three skill seventh bar we go down to the second bar we have one more bar to go we have the stuff i think i should have been on the puddle so about 37 seconds 36 seconds left maybe say with a better run a minute left at max so let's say 37 seconds for now let's say a minute the new uniform look at this okay so look at how fast she is okay she is a lot faster than what she used to be so anyways i'll wait Let's see, we got hit, maybe I'm not sure, but the damage is much better. Look at that. The damage is absolutely much better than what it was with that uniform. And we're doing some really nice damage and you will see the damage now with the new, uh, next tier three skill. Okay. So we go right here into the tier three skill. In second tier three skill, we were about 44, 45th bar. Right now we are at 40 seconds to 41st bar at the moment. And we also skipped that phase. We skipped that phase by the way. So. That's how it goes. And look at the damage and she's destroying it. She is destroying it. Okay. And we again, again, we got this and 31st bar. We're done. 356. We are done already. So man, she, she is way stronger. The only thing is that you can't do the third skill combo right here because she would basically go up and everything. So I'm going to wait and do the tier three skill here and should do insane amount of damage. Now I only have to do extra extra damage right here. The proc helps a lot. The second skill helps a lot and everything. So she's definitely really, really good. 
in terms of the gameplay again look at that we don't have any accumulation at that moment still we were able to do that much damage because of that proc on that fourth skill and look at the damage from the tier 3 skill now okay we got hit uh the only thing is that you have to cancel the tier 3 skill <laughs> six bars and we are already down to the 13th bar right here and you know what i was thinking to save the tier 3 skill f saving the tier 3 skill 12th bar to the freaking 7th bar straight down to the last bar look at the time look at literally the time uh <laughs> and i'm i'm just going to spam the skills and switch just so that i can have my tier 3 skill charged up and i feel like maybe she can just one shot do you guys think that she can just one shot with this with this rotation let's see six skill 5 4 3 2 1 absolutely almost almost one shot it almost one shot it maybe with a better proc timing and everything 216 finished it's a freaking a minute and 16 seconds <laughs> more it's freaking almost two minutes uh faster than that new than that light series uniform this is insane and well i don't know i could be i could probably like play the light series armor a bit better but this is just insane this is mephisto 64 i tried mephisto 60 last night trying to record with the light series armor i almost died uh, a lot of times it was really hard to play and everything she broke the shield in just 30 seconds and look at that i'm not even trying to dodge i'm not even i'm just trying to freaking go and get the hell out of uh, <laughs> you know get the hell out of there when i feel like i'm gonna die i do the damage i use the second skill to stall when i think i'm gonna die and she's much easier to play i uh, i think she is way way better now than what she was and this is good this is good actually i'm gonna switch to wave right now just to collect these things one two three four and let's just get the last one which are rogers right here and i'm gonna collect it we're gonna go tier 3 skill 17th bar two there we go about uh about seven bars of damage at here and of course it could be better it depends on the uh you know proc and everything as well second skill i'm having a lot of fun with this thing i'm gonna go again with the tier 3 skill and boom the first phase is done in just over 100 seconds so I'm, I'm really happy and this is level 70 so just imagine what she could do at freaking level 80 very very soon so i don't i don't know <laughs> she is incredible incredible sharon rogers the poseidon's armor is insane i love the armor of course you can die here uh, if you are not uh, you know if you don't pay attention you can absolutely die with these things but that's what happens in mephisto but it, it's much easier it's way easier then the light serious armor it's way more damage than the light serious armor it's much 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 better than that so i'm just trying to right now charge up the tier 3 skill and i think i made a mistake in the end i could have done it way faster than what i'm gonna show you right now but it, it is how it is so you can see with the tier 3 skill i'm at six bars so i think about two rotations should finish him right now i made a big mistake here and i think i should have just killed him easily fourth bar one tier three was enough if i had collected i don't know why i just went and tried to you know finish him right here i don't know why i did this and look at the damage stops and everything so 150 or 145 we can complete i can complete mephisto 64 with my account with my sharon rogers with literally no attack or so display. honestly this uniform i think it's much much better than the other one it is like a night and day difference in terms of the gameplay and honestly the survivability with this uniform also is insane so i do feel that it is of course because of that four skill which is the 60 percent proc and that is helping her a lot and i just can't uh you know i can just can't stay still to try her at level 70 I tried her potential, I got to 71.42 in one shot, so maybe in a day or two, maybe tomorrow or uh, other day, I might be able to get the level 80 for this girl straight away. If I can do a level 80 review before that, I'll let you guys know about that, but she is way better now. Mephisto is a piece of cake, level 64 always have been really hard. This uniform literally used to die uh, in certain situations because it was so slow and it has no survivability skill with the V pad and everything. And once you get honestly the tier 4, it's a ga it's game over basically. It she has basically the Moon Knight sort of heal 
for 10 seconds. She will be almost unkillable in most of the game modes. Crazy survivability, insane damage, and it's a full freaking in terms. Uh, it's an amazing package, basically. So let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about Sharon Rogers, Poseidon's armor. I love the new Harley. I love the new Sharon Rogers. Always have me my favorite character. And I'll do more testing with her and see how she does in certain game modes and certain situations. Let me know what you think about the video. And as always, if you do enjoy the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one.